lot of people are sleeping on this essential Italian ingredient. It's delicious, it's nutritious, but because it's so unfamiliar to people, it often just gets overlooked. Welcome to Actually Italian. I'm Sal and I'm on a mission to help you cook authentic regional Italian cuisine. So we're talking about fennel today, of course. It's a vegetable very similar to celery in texture, but it has a slight anise kind of licorice flavor to it. It's really versatile though. It can be eaten raw, it can be eaten cooked. So today we're gonna to make it Sicilian style, cooked, and then we'll make a, a nice light and fresh fennel salad out of it. All right, let's jump right into the ingredients. Let's start with the fennel for the prep. So this one's pretty big, and most of the time when you get them in the supermarket, they're probably gonna be pretty big. If you get them at a farmer's market, you might be able to find some of the smaller, more tender ones, but when they're big, like this, this outer skin here, I don't know, maybe you can see how kind of rough it is. It's very fibrous. We don't want to use that, so we're just going to break that off and use the inside. In fact, let me kind of cut this here. Now, we don't want to throw this away. This is um, going to be great for stocks, so I would throw this in a freezer bag and keep it for later. Same goes for these stalks, like these are really fibrous too. So we're not gonna use this in, the, in this dish, but you wanna keep these and always have them on hand for a vegetable or even a, a regular meat stock. These fronds too, now when you get them at the farmer's market or grow them yourselves, they're like huge. It would be like out like this. And these fronds make a great herb, so definitely want to hold on to these. We're going to use them in this dish after too, so we're just going to take that off. We'll set this aside since we're going to we're going to garnish with these. Now this is just a side dish, a cooked side dish, and um, you could eat it with alongside some roasted meats. You could have it if you're a vegetarian. You could eat it with. Um, anything. You could eat, actually eat it as, a, as an entree if you really wanted. So for this we want it to cook pretty evenly. We're going to take this core out because it's very tough. You're not going to really be able to cook that to get it tender. So we take that out and we're just going to slice this very thinly because we want it to cook kind of quickly. If you, if you don't cook it, cut it thinly then it, it'll take too long to kind of cook and, and you'll risk burning it on the outside and, and still have it be crunchy. We want it to be tender. It doesn't have to be falling apart soft or anything, but we do want it to be tender. So I'm going to continue cutting these and then uh, we'll talk about the other ingredients. All right, so we'll put this aside. Another thing about cooking the fennel like we're going to do is it, it really tones down that licorice flavor. Which, now I like licorice, so I'm actually fine with the anise flavor, but some people just don't like that flavor. Now when you cook it, it really sweetens up and you don't taste that licorice so much. So even if you think you don't like anise or licorice, you're probably going to like this dish anyway, especially because it's got a lot of salty, kind of really umami um, ingredients like these olives. Olives are key to this dish. These olives I got here from Ligordia because it's funny. I live in Italy, up in northeast Italy. So they don't have like really much of an olive culture up here because we're on the border of Austria and Slovenia. So it's a little more alpine than it is Mediterranean. So these are from Liguria because we're actually closer to there even though it's not that close, than we are to Sicily. So it's actually not easy for me to find Sicilian olives. It's probably going to be easier for people in Boston, for instance, to find some. So these are going to do the trick anyway, even though they're not Sicilian, just because they're very rich, they're very oily, and they have um, that nice salty punch that you're looking for. Now, another really misunderstood ingredient is anchovy. Let's talk for a second about anchovy. I already know the comments that I'm going to get. Can I use something else. No, you can't. There's only one anchovy. You could leave it out if you want, but try to make it because when you cook anchovy, it doesn't have that real fishy flavor. You can tell that there's something in there because it heightens the flavor of everything that you cook it with, but it doesn't taste like fish. If I were to eat this now, it would taste like very strong fish, but when you cook it in a dish, I call it Italian MSG because it adds so much umami to the dish that it's like a flavor enhancer. 
and they use anchovy in a lot of dishes. If you've been to Italy before, you wonder why the food is so good, it's the anchovy for sure. I've got some oil now, it's, it's heating up over about a, a medium flame. I've got the garlic, it's in this shell, in the skin rather. I just lightly crushed it and that's going in whole, just like that. So another misconception about Italian food is that they eat a lot of garlic. Well, they do, but this is generally how they do it. They're gonna cook it whole like this so they can take it out later. They don't eat a ton of garlic. They just want the flavor of it, but they don't want it like permeating the whole dish, you know? They don't want big slices. Like you're never gonna really see like four or five cloves of garlic with some exceptions sliced up into it. Now you can do that if you want, but I'm gonna do it Italian style. This is how they would do it. So we'll let the garlic cook there. It's gonna flavor the oil. And we're going to add some of the, the fennel now. So we'll just get it right in the pan and then we're going to season it right away because we want this to start softening and to kind of kind of cook down. We want the water to come out, the liquid to come out of this. So give it a good toss here. I'll probably put a little bit more in there. And a little more salt. We're not gonna put the we're not gonna put the anchovy in right away because it, it'll tend to burn. We want it kind of in there at the last minute. So when the fennel's almost kind of cooked through, that's when we're gonna add the olives and the, the anchovy. I turned the heat down a little bit because it was just it was going a little too fast. So we can see this they're starting to soften up a little bit. So I would say keep it over low heat. Still get the garlic in there. You see it's not changing color too much yet. If it starts to look too brown then we're going to take it out because we don't want that bitter flavor. So we're going to cover it up now to help it cook faster and for the fennel to soften up. We'll check back in a few minutes. So it's been literally three minutes almost to the dot since I put the lid on. So it's starting to get tender now. It's not quite cooked through yet but it's almost there. We're going to take the garlic out now. I'm going to make a little space here for the anchovy because we want to kind of get it in the oil so it gets all distributed. I'll just put that paste in there like that and with, with the spoon I'm just going to kind of break it up and then mix it in. So it's literally going to just melt away in there, it's going to disappear. You're not going to see it, you're not going to even know it's in there. So we'll mix that up. I'm going to add the olives. Here's something I actually forgot to mention when we were going over the ingredients. We also need red wine vinegar. So I'm just going to add a splash of vinegar and then cover it back up. And we're gonna let that cook down where it just evaporates completely. You can see the vinegar is almost completely evaporated there. So that's what we want. It's almost like a syrup. And Sicilian food has a lot of sweet and sour elements. So where the fennel is sweet, we put the vinegar in and it's gonna give it a little sweet and sour kind of flavor. You could use balsamic vinegar, but that wouldn't be traditional in a Sicilian dish. But if that's what you prefer, then go ahead. I just use some red wine vinegar. And this is just about done. I'm going to shut the heat off and I'm going to cover it up and we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. This next one is, is going to be a raw version. So this is essentially a salad. Most Italians would eat this after their main course because they think that fennel is a great way to help digest. That's why they love their fennel. Now we're going to start with the anchovy for the dressing. This time you can leave the anchovy out because yeah, it's going to pack a punch here. It's going to be pretty strong, but we're going to make a paste out of it. So what I do is I take the tip of the blade and I use it as a pivot on the, on the um, board here. So I'm just going to kind of squish it and scrape, squish it and scrape. You might think like, well, I'll just use the anchovy paste out of one of those tubes, but I wouldn't do that because there's different grades of anchovy and that's like the, the lowest quality. So get this stuff under oil. So we just kind of made a paste like this and we're going to put it in the bowl and we'll whip that into the, the sauce. Another key ingredient, this one you really want to have is Sicilian uh, oregano. This is a lot different than a lot of the oregano that you're going to get in, um, you know, in the spice section because it's, um, it's a little more like floral. It almost has like a minty flavor to it. It's a lot different, very bright. It's not as earthy as like Mexican 
oregano. So if you can find Sicilian oregano, definitely go with that. Then we want to add some good red wine vinegar, just a little bit. And we're going to add that in first because we want it to start kind of working with the anchovy here. So, so we want to break up these chunks of the anchovies here. I put the, the vinegar in first. We essentially want it to dissolve into the dressing. That's why we're, we're doing that first. Now, again, we want good olive oil. I've got this olive oil. It's actually from Puglia. A friend of mine's father-in-law makes it. And it's non-refined. It's non-filtered. I'll link to a really good olive oil in the description. So that's the one that you would want to use for dressings and not for cooking. So check out the description if you want to see uh, some good examples. So we're just going to give this a little whisk. And there we go. We've got a nice dressing there. We'll add some salt and pepper to taste and that's that. So let's work on the fennel now. Once again, we're going to take this core out. You can see that core there. And we're going to remove that. This time, we're going to slice this up razor thin, as thin as we possibly can. Make sure you have a really sharp knife. In fact, I just got this sharpened today at the, at the market, so I know I can get these very thin. So with your fingers curled under, you just rest the knife against your, your finger there, and that's going to slide it so that way you can get some very accurate, like really super thin. You can use a mandolin for this too, but I find that I actually get it much thinner with the knife. Hopefully you can kind of see like that's like, like a ribbon. So I'll continue to do that and then that's going to go in and we'll also chop up some olives and then we'll just toss it in the bowl with a little salt and pepper. So I threw in some, I chopped, roughly chopped these olives and just kind of tossed them in there. I'm tossing everything together now with a little salt and pepper. We want to get everything evenly coated. Now you want to do this a little ahead of time, like maybe a half an hour at least before you're actually going to eat it because you want it to start to kind of soften from the salt and for all of the flavors to kind of come together. We're also going to use these, the fronds now. So I chopped the fronds. We're going to sprinkle those in. And that's also going to add another kind of bright flavor to the, to the salad. So that's looking beautiful. So we'll let that sit. We'll come back to it in a little bit. Got the two side dishes here now. So got the cooked one here. You can see the color is, um, okay, it doesn't look really fantastic, but you can see it has a nice kind of almost caramel color to it. You know it's going to have a lot of flavor. Then we've got the nice, bright, acidic, and fresh salad. So I'll start with, let's see, I'm going to start with the cooked one first. Let's see how this goes. The depth of flavor in this is just off the charts. You can hardly taste that licorice, especially because of the bold flavors of the olives, of the, the anchovy, the, the vinegar. It all really packs a punch. It's really, really bold, deep. It's, it's fantastic. I mean, this is definitely a dish that you'd want to try. It's nice and tender. It's soft. It's not like falling apart, but it, it just has like this really rich texture to it, which is great. So I love this. I'm really loving this. So now we're going to go to the, the fresh one. This is going to be completely different. This is going to be bright, acidic, and it is going to have more of that licorice flavor. Like I said, Italians love their fennel. It, when they have a big meal, you'll see it just sliced into pieces on a plate on the table. They'll just eat it raw like that, no salt or condiment or anything, because they, they want to get their digestion kind of kick-started. But this is one that you would see, especially in Sicily, you'd see this, this salad. So we'll give this a shot. We, we want all of the elements here. We want the salty, we want the, the sweet, and uh, that oregano we want on there too. I know you're wondering, like, how much can you taste that anchovy? Well, let me tell you, with, with it sitting like it did for a while, you can't, I couldn't even really taste it. I, you can taste that there's something in there, but it doesn't taste fishy. So I do recommend giving it a shot. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't, but it is worth a try. 
but with the salty olives, the, the flavor of the oregano, everything really shines through. And then you have that nice crispness, the crunch of the, the fennel. I love it. I love this as a salad, especially when you're eating something rich. This is a nice way to go with it. Or fish, actually. This is great. Nice piece of grilled fish with this as your side dish. It's, it'll be really good. So anyway, there's a couple of different side dishes, you know, so if you're trying to figure out a nice side dish that's a little unusual, then these two Italian side dishes really are going to hit the spot. Well, I hope this was helpful, and I hope you make these and enjoy it as much as I did. We'll see you on the next video.